Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle Affinity Photo Tuesday. In this, I'm going to show you how to distribute objects. Now, by default, there doesn't appear to be any distribution tools. If I select all those, you can see you've got here, you've got some alignment. It's exactly the same in Designer as well. So in Affinity Photo and Designer, exactly the same, no distribution tools. So where are they? Now, in version one, I had my distribution tools upgraded to two and they're gone. So they do exist. And what you need to do is go to view and then you go down here, customize toolbar. So customize toolbar, select that. And this is in photo two. And this works slightly different in photo two to photo one, which is slightly odd. And you can see here, distribute. And you can then drag it up. Now, unfortunately you can't put it beside these alignment ones, <laughs> which is really odd. I guess you could probably remove them and then add them, but still, I'm just gonna add them there. You can see a plus, and it just puts it along here. And that's fine, I've got it now. And I actually can also, if you wanna remove them, you can just simply click and drag. And that works okay here. Click done. But I'm gonna show you this quickly. So I've got these, and clearly, obviously, they're not spaced nicely. And you've got here, you've got there, and you've got distribute left edge. You've got horizontal centers. Now that's the one I'm gonna use, but here's another one, right edges. And also, of course, got the vertical ones as well. So you've got your distribution tools in photo. And let's just click it, the horizontal one. And then you can see they've been nicely distributed. However, let's go to designer. And designer's got exactly the same. So if I just put that there, and I've got these paths. And you can do exactly the same way here, where you can go to view, and you can go to customize toolbar. So customize toolbar. And again, you can see it here, distribute. And you can drag it up, and again, you can only put it in the top row. So you just put it there, or somewhere, you can put it obviously along the end as well. You can actually probably put multiple copies. But one thing I noticed, and maybe it won't do this now, but when I try to delete it, let's just try and delete it, just to quickly show you, to the, it actually goes like that. It drags the whole thing down, which is very odd. Doesn't do that in photo. It does delete, but it's you really have to drag it right across the screen for it to delete, which is odd. But I just thought I'd point that out. That, so designer does sort of seem to not allow you to delete it. So click done. So once you've got that, you've got the shapes all selected and it could be type, it could be anything. You can now go up here. And then notice another thing that's slightly odd. And I've just noticed that. You've got ones there. You've got the various other, auto distribute, etc. You've got all those. You've got these, but they're slightly smaller than these ones, which I hadn't noticed before. Just odd. Why are they smaller than up here? But still, click. And then you can see it's again distributed along that centers. Or you could do it with the left edge, right edge, etc. And that's in designer as well. So that's how to add distribution to photo as well as designer, PC or Mac. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know. And also, have you noticed the same behavior in designer on your version? Or is it just my version of version two or version one? Maybe it did in version one as well. I can't recall. I've never deleted it. So I've, that was the first time I've tried to delete it. So maybe it, it's fine. And maybe it's fine on a PC. Maybe it's just a Mac M1 issue. I don't know, but it's just odd. Anyway, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much. Bye.